hello everyone today i'll show you this type of m logo how to make with the illustrator let's get started if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon here i'm going to the file and taking new options from here i'll go to 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and giving the name m logo that's it and hit the create button and after that going to the rectangle just click once i'll write down here 68 and 212 and hit ok and now press a from the keyboard you will get the rounded corner options over there if you don't see this one going to the view options here the corner height corner wedges and the show corner wedges here is the height corner wedges actually uh, here if you press over there this small dot will gone and again if you go to the view and show corner wedges these small dots will appear and now just click once and you can make them into the rotation and it will be the circular rectangle and for your convenience i'll turn off the stroke i'll give a color which is the prominent color that's fine and then press alter option button and make another copy you can press the shift button and hold it for the better alignment one two and three you'll see pink line which is indicates the guideline that's fine and press a for the direct selection tool and i'll select the upper edges and press the shift and down arrow key i'll make it a little bit of smaller that's fine and now select them all going to the adjustment and i'll provide here 330 degree that's good but i want to make them into one by one so one 330 number two this one 330 and this 330 but the space between two shape is not aligned or proper i'll make them like that okay that's fine we have a tool to make them proper alignment here is the adjustment and here is the alignment yeah that's the good alignment so one of them i'll make another copy of this make this one like 200 degree angle that's fine before that i'll make this one zero and i'll make this one little bit of smaller that is 200 actually the height only 200 and then i'll make this one angle is 200 that's fine i'll just place over there press controller command y i'll make this one adjustment manually so press controller command y for the outline mode and in this portion i'll make them into proper alignment actually the upper side of the alignment that's good and i'll make copy make the upper side alignment properly that's fine and this should be like that so that's good press ctrl or command y that's good and now select all the steps and then go into the shape builders tools from here and i'll make a shape like this like this and like this that's fine now time to provide the color press ctrl or command g make this one a little bit of bigger make this one the proper alignment according to the artboard and middle of the artboard now i'll get the color swatch from here i'll provide the color swatch in my video description so you can check it out and you can download those things now time to provide color and group this one select this or select all the stuffs i from the color picture just select like that now that is the gradient and i'll go to the gradient options i'll make this one rotation that's good v from the keyboard and now i'll change up the direction 
g for the gradient alignment or gradient adjustment and i'll make the gradient adjustment like that one and this one g from the keyboard and the gradient alignment should be like that that's fine that's fine and now i make a group by pressing ctrl or command g that's fine and now i'll choose a background from the rectangle and providing here 2000 actually 2000 not 200 2000 pixels and 2000 pixel and hit ok and i'll choose a color which is the dark blue color if you want you can provide color by pressing double press and like that and hit ok that's good and middle alignment now right press and the arrange and then send to the back that's good and i'll lock it up because of i want to drag something over there press ctrl or command 2 it will lock it up so now time to add some like uh, text going to the text tool or types tool and select once or click once increase the font size after making the font size bigger we'll have to choose the perfect font like uh, poppins or bebas or i want to provide here like roboto so this font is good and giving the name and provide the color which is white and from the adjustment i'll provide the gap between two letters that is 300 if you want you can make a little bit of bigger font like 90 that's good and 500 that's good and time to create outline right press and create outline select this logo and make it like that that's fine and now t again i'll choose the thinner from the font family and the you'll have to change the color of the this font the that is our tagline and i'll change the font size according to the golden ratio like divided by 1.6 and again just give it by 1.6 that's good and if you want you can make these the all caps that will be fine and after that right press and create outline and make this one proper alignment and it will be a little bit of closure like that select all the stops making it group and making it into the middle of the artboard so our logo is ready and this one and this one you can provide any sort of color like this you can make any sort of uh, like uh, the mock-ups in this portion we can make this tagline a little bit of a smaller yeah that would be amazing and middle of the artboard that's fine so our background is locked going to the layer options find out the lock and unlock this one you can now save the export selections and in your directory you can make this one as a png the export the assets and after export that you will get your logo into your directory so this one is our png logo so if you want you can only export this that means this logo right press and export selections and then export the assets you'll get that things into the png so how to use that if you want you can use this png in your photograph so going to the photoshop choose a photo like this suppose this one is your photographs in the file and place embedded options and find out that png yeah that's fine and you can place that logo 
any sort of corners or anywhere suppose if you want you can just place her over there or over there wherever you want i think that is the perfect place and now save your copy into your directory and now this one your logo and how to place it out in your photographs hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend until the next video asmr signing out stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye